goes home to the team with the best record in the NBA. The first time in Rocket history they've been able to say that at the All-Star break. They're also riding a 10-game winning streak heading into tonight's game. All the players that you could say need rest, it's Jimmy Butler, given the minutes he played, as you You're pointed out. With some pieces that have such little playoff experience that they want to go against Oklahoma City. I don't think anybody does, as Capella gets the day in rebounding at close to six per game. Harden finds Ariza, and he hits a three. On the season, averaging three threes per game, a career high. It seems like everybody's having a career year playing with Harden and Paul together. There's towns from out over the last 10 games during this win streak. Harden is at 33 points per game. Wiggins, as you see, the athletic. Winning games right now in the absence of an all-star John Wall, and the elevation of Bradley Beal's game has been so significant to their success. Butler drills a three, his first miss, and P.J. Tucker out of there with it. Harden got bumped by Butler, and the ball ends up in the hands. Harden contested by Gibson, and Harden couldn't get that one to go. Teague racing up the floor, able to finish at the rim. In Chicago, and you go back to when Jimmy Butler was the last pick in the first round. There weren't a lot of people as Harden hits a three that believed in, and Butler's got Capella on him. Here's Wiggins for three from the corner, and it's good. Minnesota's gone cold after a hot start, but they get another opportunity. They got four shots at the rim already in this possession. And Crawford buries it. Ryan Anderson rebounds. Harden always looking to push the tempo. Blows by the defender and gets to the rim again for his Here's Butler guarded by Joe Johnson. Butler with eight points. But he's missed four in a row, fakes the pass, and puts it in off the... Right, just sizing up the defense, sort of getting where they want, and then the power at the rim. Anderson lets it fly, and drains a minute to go here in the opening frame in Houston. The Rockets, 44-13, and 13, best record in the NBA at the All-Star break for the first time in their history. 14th the last time these two teams met. Crawford trying to shake Nene, puts it up, and buries it. Double goal attempts from three, then two. What if they get an unbelievable streak in that instance? You know, what if Draymond Green loses his mind? About that, he would say fatigue set in. You've got multiple playmakers. This guy in the, with the ball in his hand, he's pretty good. And oh, by the way. Ball here, working on Teak, fires to Ariza. Off balance, Ariza gets. What I wonder, Dave, is there a fundamental change now in the structure of college athletics? And I mean that relative to as another. And rebound by Wiggins. Well, and you know that this is just the start. There's more to come, obviously, as Wiggins. Right now, that have had their names dragged, yes. But there will be more to come. That basket by Wiggins ends a five minute drop without a field goal, and Chris Paul. Who's playing this second quarter with James Harden on the bench the whole time. And he's got four points here, a couple of assists. Teague no good, and Towns with a good blockout. Has four rebounds and five points. Teague racing ahead of the pack. Another layup for Jeff Teague. I'll say this Which would match Utah for the longest active win streak in the NBA. Ariza bricks that one. Look at Capella, though. Really worked on that offense off the side of the rim. Nobody picks up Harden, that's a mistake. But Harden off target. Capella's there though and puts it back. You know, we gotta get stops. We gotta start to communicate. I, there have been countless times where there's just no defensive communication. Oh. Towns drives and seven time first team all defense, Chris Paul. Butler gives it up to Wiggins. Playing Wiggins. Boy, Capella got off his feet. Touch passing by the Rockets here. Ball moving a little better on this possession. Tucker didn't want to shoot it. Harden. Wiggins tries to answer. Short, long rebound to Chris Paul. Numbers if they hurry. Great look to Capella for the stuff and the Rockets in front of him. And the playoffs going to eight guys, maybe even seven. I, I think I've got nine with this group. And, and that nine is going to depend on, on the offensive end. Rockets held them to 29% shooting in the second quarter. So got to get cooking here offensively for Minnesota. Butler was 0 for 4 in that second quarter as a Towns hits the deck hard. He has 12 points and 10 rebounds. 52nd double-double. I know that a lot of people don't love that stat, but he's the third person ever to get to 50 double-doubles by the eyes of that stat. 
coaching Team USA, by the way, as uh, Gibson gets a pass. It ends up in Wiggins' hands, and he's unable to hit the three. Offensive rebound, Gibson. And now Wiggins soars to the rim, and it spins around but won't drop. And Paul out of there with it. Paul pushing tempo. Tucker from the corner. Nails a three. 67-59. It was interesting. P.J. Tucker hit a three, and it was hard to tell whether his foot was on the line, but they did not. Exceptional leaper was in perfect position. Man, Cole Anthony Towns' offensive game is scary good. Capella gets it. Harden, 5 of 17 and 2 for 8 from the floor. Joe Johnson showing off. Still have something left. I understand what I'm up against with playing time or, or not playing, but I'm here to help out. This is the team I wanted from the start. I didn't even have a conversation. Paul, playmaker, efficient, shot maker. Joe Johnson, late game shot maker. More options. And you got four or five guys you can throw at Durant in a series. Keep running, keep running, keep running. You know, the Rockets have held Minnesota as Anderson. It's like that's that's hand to hand combat for both guys. How is that against Towns? Looks like it was initiated by Nene as Harden. How, how many guys? There's a long list of things you've got to deal with with James on the offensive end. You're guarding them, right? Butler takes it away from a couple of Rockets. And Gibson throws up an air ball. And Jimmy Butler is still down holding his right knee as Harden gets it. I mean, it looks like it's there. It looks like down. Shot clock down to one. Here's Crawford. Wiggins hustles and... Excellent passing by the Rockets, and Joe Johnson basically strong and capable on the box. Today he's giving him good minutes tonight off the bench. Here's Crawford trying to answer, and he does. But they've held Minnesota under 40% from the floor. Well, they're outscoring the bench. Out. Rockets shooting just 30% from behind the arc in the game. Teague, nice look. BL Paul with the pull up, and he scores. Towns, oh, hand fighting with Harden, and Towns able. Anderson blows by Towns. Johnson will shoot this one and hit him. After the All Star break, he goes down. Well, think about the shot making he has given this team in late game situations. Wow. Towns fires to Crawford, and Crawford gets down. And another mismatch in that instance. T closing in on his third straight 20-point game. He had only four all year prior to that. What a look. By Side of a foot the entire night. Wiggins pulls up and connects. There. In fact, Lucas will take a basketball, put it right by Capella's head to get the proper shooting stroke as Chris one game all year. All right, that's exactly right. And that was at New Orleans in the game that DeMarcus Cousins actually got hurt in closing stretches of the game. Am I swaying you to my... Wow. I, again, it's just after... We were here for game three last year against San Antonio. I, mean, I know this is a different... Rock. 24 games left after tonight for Houston. 13 of those will be away from Toyota Center. Great look to Ariza. Ariza with the steal. And a turnover. Shabazz Muhammad. 14 turnovers to 10. Yes. And I think Golden State is Muhammad gets up in it. Angeles. Houston will win its 11th straight game. The Rockets as Harden is late as they hit the road for three in a row. Wolves fall to 36 and 26, but they may have lost more with the injury to Jimmy Butler.